Yeah, um, guys, we were fighting the whole day, um, and you could feel it. You could feel it throughout the whole game. No matter what situation we were put in, you know, we were responding. How tough was that last play of regulation where May scrambling around and somehow find Stevenson for a touchdown? Yeah, you got to go. Um, it's tough. Um, I'm glad that it was for overtime and not not for a win. So we got another chance to go back out there, but um, that play's tough. You know, you want to get off the field and, and seal the game, um, but they're professionals too, and uh, they made a play. Can you talk about both interceptions. Um, yeah, the first one. Um, was playing zone coverage, reading the eyes of the quarterback, um, and he threw it right to me. And then uh, similar situation, I'm in the deep zone. Uh, he launched it up. I got to come down with it. That's the, the plays in my zone too. Yeah. How, how good did it feel to get a win? Not only a win, but a win at home. No, I feel great. Um, the fans needed it. Uh, we needed it at the locker room, as coaching staff. Uh, we work hard. You know, I mean, our, our record's not you know how we feel we are. Um, obviously, it doesn't matter. You got to play it. But um, you know, we got a good group of guys here, good leadership, and we play hard. When Lawan was here, you didn't pick on me all the time. But yeah. Is this a character win? Um, I mean, I hope every win's a character win, but um, hopefully that you know we can build on this. Um, go to I think we got the Chargers next week and uh, come out with another win. Um, just trying to be in the right spot. You know, trusting my guys throughout the week, our film study. Um, you know, all game long, we're talking about what we see. You know, what I mean, they help me out. We help each other out. So uh, I just give credit credit to my guys that help me. You know, be in that position to lead, and you know, I just try to take advantage of all my opportunities. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm playing good ball right now. Um, maybe feel better if we had a lot more wins, but you know, this is a good start. Arden came up with a big strip sack. I mean, what's kind of mm -hmm. in lately? The last two, two weeks has been unblocked and making plays for you guys. Um, I mean, he's an energy guy. I mean, as you guys know already, you know, he's high energy. So when he's out there playing with high energy, he usually makes a lot of plays. He's disruptive. Um, so he's a, he's a long, tall guy, kind of like a basketball player out there. So it's hard for guys to block him. It's been the last, like you said, tough season, last, mm -hmm. couple, last couple of weeks. How's it feel to walk in this locker room now? It feels great. Um, you know, yesterday we talked about you know, those steps that we walked down, uh, we talked about going up those steps with a victory instead of with our heads down, you know, with a loss. So that was the goal, to come down the steps and, and ready to play and then go up with a victory, and that's what we did. You know, the quarterback was scrambling around. He made a play. Um, at the end of the day, we just got to keep playing. Um, you know, we talk about them type of plays, um, especially when there's no seconds on the clock. Um, he was just scrambling around. So I, I know, I remember I just getting, getting bent, boozing in there. You know, I got my head knocked off. But at the end of the day, man, you know, we fought through it. Um, adversity hit. Uh, shout out to our offense going down and getting a, um, the three point, getting in position to, to win, help us win that game. And Hook came up with the interception at the end. So that was it about. And that's what we've been talking about for so long um, this whole season, trying to play complimentary football, especially when it matters. So. How much of a did you guys need this win just from a mental health standpoint of knowing that you still can't go out and win? I mean, it, it, we needed this. Um, you know, we deserve it. You know, we haven't, our record, like I said, I've been saying, our record haven't showed how good we really are. But at the end of the day, and we, we always into, um, you know, we come into games want to win. And we throughout the game, we've been showing uh, good football. But, you know, at the end of the day, we just haven't won. So today it gave us an opportunity. Um, that's just like on defense. I mean, we've been talking about the ball, and we had three turnovers today. We was able to uh, rush and, you know, cover. So at the end of the day, we just have to play good football to be able to do what we do best. And, you know, um, like I said, I, I have faith in my guys up front. The quarterback got out of the pocket a couple of times, but man, at, the, I, and then at the end of the day, I, I trust our guys to get to the quarterback when it really matters. Jeff, it, it seemed like you were, you were hurting towards the end there. I mean, how big was it for, for you know, Arden to force that out and then for you to land on it? Kind of take us through that and how you were feeling at that point. I mean, you know me, I, if I could go, I'm going to go for my team. Uh, you know, I was a little banged up. We would fix that throughout the week. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to do whatever it takes to help my team win. And I told Arden, you know, this quarterback was ready. It was one read and taking off running. And that play, he was trying to step up. And I moved because I knew I couldn't really move as quick as Arden did on that play. But, you know, that's just good for him um, being able to come around the edge and make a play. And like I said, the biggest thing is the ball. You know, last week he got one. And. He was mad at me because I didn't recover it, but today uh, we finally recovered it uh, when he got the strip sack. So you know, that was big. We've been talking about the ball for so long, and every time, most time when we win, uh, every time you win a turnover margin in this league, uh, you know, good things happen, and 
you know, you could win games by winning the turnover March. So, yeah, I mean, that's what it felt like. Like, it felt like we were about to win it there at the end of regulation. Didn't happen. And, you know, it was just flipping that switch. Like, all right, offense, like, we get the ball, let's go, go take it down there, score, um, and put us, you know, in a position to win this game and let defense do what they need to do. Uh, and that's what happened. Um, so, yeah, I feel like there was a ton of resiliency, um, tons of fight out of this team. It was awesome to watch. How about your touchdown catch? Just the fact that defense set it up with the sack and forced fumble is Mason showed great patience waiting for you to clear on the other you know, side of the end zone there. Yeah, that's complimentary football right there. You know, defense gets a turnover. Uh, we take advantage of it and go score. Um, like, like I said out there, I mean, O-line did their job, you know, protected him, gave him time to go through his progression. Um, and I was just trying to be in the right place at the right time. Um, great, great play call by Cali there. Was was the bat swing an ode to like Aaron Judge since you look so much like him? Nah, uh, uh, Tyke, Tyke uh, had a little he, in our little red zone meeting. He put a little little highlight tape together, uh, an ode to Freddie Freeman because he had four for four. So you know, four straight, uh, you know, games with a home run and four touch, four straight games with a touchdown. Now, so. Nick, it seems like you know what's like thorn your side all year for this offense is mistakes that, that have kind of hindered you and you guys can't come out of that. How much today were you guys able to fight through that and build some confidence with coming out on the other side? Yeah, I feel like, you know, we still had some of those um, that we had to fight through, like you said. I feel like that was kind of like that last week. Early on, I remember saying that to guys, like, you know, regardless of what happens, you know, like even if we do have a holding penalty or, you know, some bad plays, like we got to be able to fight through that. So I feel like we, we kind of started that last week, um, but we were able to capitalize on it more this week and be more consistent with it. What Different is, world when you get the ball in plus territory. I mean, you, you haven't had many of those chances this year. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's the red zone. Everybody's antennas go up. You know, as a receiver, you, you, you kind of focus a little bit more, um, knowing that you got a chance to get in the zone. You, uh, you, you, you mentioned the uh, four straight games with a touchdown. And you're probably too young to remember guys like Butch Roll or Chris Carter when they said all, all they do is catch touchdowns. I mean, it's not a bad reputation to have as a wide receiver, right? Not at all. <laughs> uh, you know, hopefully I can do that and, and keep it rolling. But I'll take the wins more than the touchdowns for sure. Um, I mean, it's, it means a lot. You know, I feel like, you know, coaches have put me in a position of trusting me uh, to go out there and, and, you know, be a starter on, on the team. You know, coming in, probably wasn't expecting that, knowing the roster that we had. Um, and so I just really, I just go to work and try to do my best to, to help this team win. Um, feel blessed to have this opportunity, uh, take advantage of it. I feel like that's just kind of how the good Lord made me. I just go to work and just see what happens after that. Feels good. Uh, like I've been telling y'all the last couple weeks, um, and special team, that's where the work come in. Special team comes around, I go in, get my extra work, um, finish out the plan that I set every week, uh, and then it shows on Sunday. How do you feel like those, that special team's work translates into the game? Like, what, what makes you more effective when you're getting that work in? Because, I mean, you're getting a, um, it's just another opportunity to get extra work in. Um, doing special team when you're not in it. Um, that's the only time where I have time to myself. Usually you got to do the individual, the coach asks you to do. Um, and I see in special team, that's the time where I get to do what I want to do. What is it that you're doing during that special team? Uh, different drills, footwork, hands, uh, a lot of pass rush type stuff. Uh, a lot of different pass rush drills. Where, where are you getting those things from? Like My guy Mark Hall and BT. Say that again? How tough was it to kind of bounce back after that last play when they scored? I mean, it definitely was tough, but I mean, uh, defense stood up. It, 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 we've been in that situation a lot before. Um, we won some and we lost some. Um, this situation was a little different because I didn't see no wavering. It was like, okay, we got it. Let's get out the field and get these boys. Let, let's get a win. It feels like there's side. been some, some of that talk about being able to compliment things, right? Like, uh -huh. you know, get a stop on defense, yeah. turn it into points, right? You yeah. said this one was a little different with no wavering. Oh, yeah. What changed that made this team not waver today? Uh, I think we was hungry for a win. That's what it is. Uh, like I said earlier in the week, we got to get a win. Been talking, getting a win the last three weeks. Once you get that one win, it start, it start, feel, it start to feel good. It feel good to get a win, feel good to come in here, party, dance. Turn up. Um, we haven't done that in a long time here. Um, so hopefully, guys take it in, flush it, and we'll go out and get a win this week. Yeah, definitely a lot of resilience. Um, you know, losing Kush was big, but 
you know, Corey came in and, and stepped up and, and with basically no no reps with the starting offense and you know at all. So he really stepped up, you know, Dan and, and OJ and, and Leo, I really really stepped up and battled and it just like it just took a lot of grit and guys just staying on their stay on their stuff and playing hard and it was a great job. Did you find yourself in more of a leadership role? And how did all that pan out for the conversations with the O line? Yeah, maybe a little bit, you know, obviously we have Dan there who's a veteran and you know the whole the whole offense kinda stayed together and um, I think we all just kinda it almost brought us together a little bit more because we knew we had a little bit of a leadership void there and everyone stepped up in my opinion in that, in that sense. You guys overcame so much today. You mentioned the injuries, the penalties, you know, last second miracle play that forced overtime. It just seemed like today was the day where losing was not going to be enough. Yeah, I think we finally saw that, that resilience we've been talking about um, and, and it showed up today and um, had to show up in the past, but today it finally, it finally showed up. Guys just played hard, you know, for 60 minutes plus, literally. So proud of proud of everyone on the team for, for doing that. The guy that used to wear number 77 used to pick on me all the time when I asked this question, but is this a, is this a character win for you guys? Absolutely. I think, you know, that last drive, you saw it, you know, how we, we didn't really, we threw a ball maybe once or twice maybe, but the rest of that was runs and just kind of kind of run down their throat and got in position to, to score the winning field goal. And that's, that's character for sure. Is this a confidence builder? Absolutely. I mean, a win is huge. We've had, we had, a, we had a rough stretch, and any win, any, any, any type of success like that is huge, and I'm um, just happy to get the win today. You mentioned that last drive. Unfortunately, you don't get the touchdown, but you do get the field goal to put pressure on New England. It was mostly runs. I mean, it's offensive linemen. How good is that to just run it down another team's throat late in a game like that? We take a lot of pride in that. Um, you know, obviously, we'd want to score, but... Um, a ton of pride and you know the head coach kind of kind of calling on our group to to produce and we did and we got we got in position to, to score that field goal so um, that's, a, that's a big common spiller for our group. Did, did coach call you out like during the week or during like during the game before that drive? No I, I think it's just just with his play calls and you know trusting the run game I think that that's the only call out that was that was there and um, you know we responded.